check out the weather. It is cold and windy out there, and I think it's finally time I bite the bullet and put the Viper roof back on. Today is a very cold day. I haven't driven the Viper in a couple weeks at this point and I'm really, really missing it, but it is just too damn cold. It is finally time to uh, put the hard top back on, put the uh, side skirts on, side panels, side windows, whatever you want to call them, and the, uh, the rear window back here. Okay, so first step of uh, getting the Viper hardtop assembly all back together and on the car is uh, the rear window panel. Um, I'm going to do that first so that I can get that in place and not have to worry about maneuvering it inside the, uh, the Viper once the hardtop is on, because once the hardtop is on, that interior gets really small really quick. So I'm going to get this guy in place first and uh, then button him into the car and then we'll uh, move on from there. All right, so uh, here we go. Here's all my uh, Viper panels, so to speak. We've got the uh, rear window here, and we got the uh, left and right window here. And I've also got a, uh, a case for the rear window. But um, yeah, now it's a case of getting this thing down safely without dropping it, damaging it, hopefully not breaking it, and all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna give that a shot right now. All right, I set myself up a little uh, a mat here so that I don't scratch the glass or whatnot. Um, so, grab my Pilex and whatnot, and give it a quick little clean. It's uh, pretty darn clean, all things considered. I'm gonna haul it over and put it in. Avoid all the obstacles, because there are many in this garage right now. All right, so as I often use for reference, this is a frowning shape as opposed to a smiling shape. So it goes in like this, I believe. And then you kind of hinge it upwards. So I think I got it in. Um, as you may or may not recall, from my other video, you got a button snap there, you got a pin there, another button snap here, another button snap over here, and then another pin there. So that's in. Now it's time for that guy. And the first thing I gotta do to prep for the roof coming down is uh, I gotta get the hood open. My uh, front roof connectors are underneath the back of the hood. And to get the uh, Viper roof down safely, I gotta get the FZ out of the way. And as far as that goes, I should get the shadow out of the way as well. All right, good enough. Open the door in preparation. Put the visors down. Remember my fancy dance roof rack holder hanger thing? I gotta figure out how to get this thing down. I'm not quite sure how to do this by myself. <sighs> Probably a bad idea for me to do this by myself. As much of a pain as it really is, it's just now a case of kind of fine-tuning it. I think we're all set on this side now. It's just a case of the other side getting uh, clipped in correctly. All right, so this side's all set now. Now it's time for these things. All right, so these things are a little tricky, but basically um, here's what you do. You uh, take one end of those hook wire things and hook it to the roof. Then there's like a little uh, roller here that you wrap it around. Then you feed it towards this torque hook lever thing. You get them to hook like so, 
then start to pull this one back, catch it, and then you torque it down like that, and it uh, really pulls the roof into place. So it's actually a, a pretty cool little design. It's just uh, there's just some awkwardness to it since the uh, Viper was never really meant to have a roof like this. This is kind of a uh, a retrofit kind of deal. So because I didn't get a good shot of the other one, I'll uh, show you on this one more so. And um, I'm also going to open the door. So you uh, hook it on the roof hook right there. You wrap it around this roller. You reach for it with this. And you torque it down. And there you go. So that is all set. Now that that's done, I can shut the hood. of this whole thing, and that is the uh, windows. Um, the right side is assembled properly, but when the car was uh, shipped, they for some really quite stupid reason decided to uh, completely take apart the other side in order to get it off, I think. I'm not sure if it was stuck or if they didn't know how to get it off or what, but they just took it apart. So now I gotta put it back together again. This one on the other hand is all set to go. All right, I, I think that one's in place, it's hard to tell. Now for the second one, which is the one I gotta reassemble. Okay, so spoiler alert, I had to uh, take the passenger side window off so that I could figure out how to reassemble the uh, driver's side window. You'll see that you've got your like window frame assembly stuff there, but then you got this bracket thing and you got some bolts and nuts. And so basically, I've been using this one to figure it out. You see this long piece right here. This is that piece and I've got to get it on top of the window frame and orient it correctly and bolt it in correctly because there are two spacers but three bolts, different lengths, nuts and all. So anyways, I'm using this one as a, uh, as a guide. I'm going to try to keep this as simple as possible. Otherwise I will get confused and uh, I want to go play video games. So as you look at these, they should basically kind of be a mirror image of one another. I just tripped on a bag. You got the hooks pointing inwards there, you got the hooks pointing inwards there. And um, this bracket is all the way to the... I see, I think I screwed that up. So uh, this one's all the way to the left, and this one is all the way to the right. Hooks pointing in, as in this hook thing is pointing that way, this hook thing is pointing that way. So I think I'm good. Now it's just a case of uh, tightening down the bolts. Okay, so the only problem I've got is that uh, this is my uh, passenger side that I'm using as a guide. This uh, bolt, which does not have a spacer underneath it, has a, a nut right there. But uh, this one over here, for this one, there's no nut to be found. I'm not sure what happened to it. Maybe it was lost in the mix. So I gotta go find one of those and uh, do something about that. But other than that, I think we're good to uh, put these guys on. All right, I think he's on as good as he's gonna be for now. Now there's just one more thing I gotta do for both of these guys. I've gotta put in these little securing bolts. So there's the door and we're going in right in there. And same deal for this guy. So we've got the roof on. We've got the passenger side window panel on. We've got the uh, rear window panel in. It's got the uh, driver side window panel insert thing installed, attached, on, whatever you want to call it. The Viper just became much more winter drivable. 
I'm not gonna actually drive it in like snow and crappy weather, but if it's a dry, semi-warm day, I'll take it out. Um, otherwise, I uh, should take it for a test drive, but today is one of those days that's too crappy to take it out. So I'm gonna wait and uh, maybe take it out tomorrow or the next day. Uh, in any case, until next time. <laughs>